everybody and their mama is dragging the heck out of Roly on social media. And I'm here for it. I am here for it, baby. Let's talk about it. I want people to have fun. Let's kick back. Let's get into a little tea. Let's not get too crazy, but let's enjoy the sip. But let's get to the chi chi, the kiki, the the internet bull. If you want to see extended videos, exclusive content, including story times and more, subscribe to my Patreon. If you want to stay engaged and keep up with my commentary, follow me on Twitter. And if you would like to book a personal reading, you can go to my website, TheAlightningSouls.com, to schedule you a personal reading today. What's your problem? What's your problem though? Why don't you like me? Just Why don't you like me? Just say it. Just say it. You have no you have What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Cha 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 Chi Chi. And listen, we are back for another, back for another. Let's talk about it, because baby, we're talking about it. Baby, we are talking about it. Okay. Um, this is actually not even a let's talk about it. This is more so a review, girl. Hold on. Let me, let me. Child, this is my fucking review for Baddies East. I don't even know what episode we on, girl. I don't. I don't. Let me tell y'all something. I had Zeus and I was paying for Zeus and then I discovered a site. I think I used Broken Silence. That's B-R-O-K-E. Y'all know how to spell broken. Broken and then you put S-I-L-E-N-Z-E dot net. I think that's what I use to watch baddies because that's what I'm going to use from now on. That's what I'm going to use from now on. I call myself being cute and creative in the morning by going to Zeus and, you know, paying a little $6.99 or whatever it is. But I said, uh uh-uh, absolutely not. Y'all making $18 million monthly and y'all can't afford to hire better producers. Y'all can't afford to hire people with actual fucking storylines. Y'all can't afford to produce a better show. Absolutely not. You're not gonna get this little six ninety nine, this three ninety nine, this bitch, this six cents. You're not getting it from me, okay? So if y'all wanna watch baddies or y'all wanna watch any of y'all shows, you could either go to Mr. World Premiere dot net or you could go to Broken Silence dot net, okay? That's what I'm gonna be doing from now here on out. Now, I don't remember the last episode that we left off for. I don't remember. This is really not going to be like a recap. It's going to be more like a review, just giving my thoughts. Because I want to keep y'all here too long. We got the new episode that's about to drop in two days anyway. So it's like, baby, you know, we all be looking forward to what's coming next. So I haven't talked to y'all in a long time in regards to baddies. I'm going to just say this. Where I stay with the cast now, T and Tiseki are my favorites. And I kind of been saying that since week one. I actually call them Tiseki. Okay, get it? Like, like T and then Tiseki, like, mixed together. I call it Tiseki. But Tiseki are my favorites. Mariah Lynn was my favorite pre-fave because I actually like Mariah Lynn. But we're going to see how that pans out. But Tiseki, my favorites. We saw Tiseki. We saw her get down with the girls. She ate. I don't like what's her face. Thank God she's not even here no more. So there's no point in even mentioning her name. Taseki definitely ate when it came to her friends. Exactly what I told y'all that was going to happen is what happened. That bitch ended up setting her up. And so I, I pray that she comes to the reunion and that all them bitches jump her. Now that she even dropped her demon, baby, let her come to the reunion and let all the bitches jump on her. Let her see how that shit feels. Let her see how it feels. But Taseki showed up and proved, and I am a fan of Taseki. Like, I am a fan of Taseki. I'm a fan of hers. I'm a fan of hers. She's a little slow like her sister, but I don't care. Saseki is that girl. When I say that, she's literally that girl. I got I got such a crush on her. That's my baby. That's my wifey. Okay? That's assuming that the fucking rumors are not true. Okay? The child. Child. 
Okay, because apparently Tasaki was playing house a little too, a little too, a little too much. Okay, hopefully those rumors ain't true. But if it happened when they was kids, then that's something different. That's a whole other conversation. But Tasaki is real cute. That's my girlfriend in my head. And um, yeah, Tasaki is the artist. Krishan is the athlete. I said I was going to say her name. Shout. I'm not giving her no clout over here. Taseki is the artist and her sister is the athlete. And I'm going to leave it at that. Go listen to Taseki's music and you will realize like how talented she is. And she actually shits on a lot of people that's out now because her music is very versatile, very catchy. Like it should, like you can tell when somebody has the it factor, the X factor, and is talented. And Taseki. Like, it, it, she's not going to be singing It's a Vibe all the time four seasons from now. Like, baby, she's going to be on her fourth album four, four seasons from now. Like, that's how much music, that's how much challenge, that's how much versatility she has. I love me some Taseki. I do. I really, really do. Um, So, yeah, as far as them, you know, as far as them jumping her, good, she got him back. Then we had the whole Woe Vicky situation. And I, I know Woe Vicky got on a lot of y'all nerves. I don't understand why. I don't understand why she didn't get on my nerves. Um, I felt like it was pussy as fuck to go and attack that girl. <sighs> but it was what it was. And I hope y'all understand that we are only like this show seems like it's dragging, and it's because we we are only on like night four or five. I hope y'all do understand that. Like we have gotten nowhere. Like they literally said, okay, we only filming for three weeks and we're gonna make 16 episodes out of the first three nights. We are literally only on day four or day five. Like the first week isn't even over yet, and we are on episode like nine. That's why this shit is dragging. There's no real storyline. There's no real storyline. And when you think about it, the whole premise of baddies has become we going around the clubs, touring and turning up. But how are we touring when the clubs don't even know half of these bitches? So really, when you think about it, like when Baddies East is filming, we don't know who the fuck a T is. We don't know who the fuck a, a Biggie is. We don't know who the fuck. You know what I mean? Like, granted, like, yeah, you might remember a Sire from 10 years ago. You might remember Mariah Lynn from Love and Hip Hop. You might know Sky from Black Ink. Okay, there's a few notables, but for everybody else in the cast, like, you don't really know these motherfuckers. Obviously, by this point, we've grown to know Scotty and Roly, but my point is, is that the whole premise of that is is touring and doing these club appearances based off of them being popular and known, but we don't know these bitches until after we finish watching the show. But by that point, it's too late to go be like, oh, I want to go see them in person. I want to go support T in person because it already doesn't happen for the show. Like, y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, you understand what I'm saying? It's like, by the time that I become a fan of T, is because I watched her on the show. But the whole show was about her touring around with the group of baddies. And mind you, when you're doing appearances, don't nobody know you. Like, it's just weird. It's real weird. But we get down to the whole go kart and situation, and I'm going to say it like this. I'm glad that everybody is on one accord. This is how you know when bitches done fucked up. And this is also, too, how you know that bitches done involved, okay, have evolved because... 10 years ago, y'all would have been praising Evelyn Lozada. 10 years ago, y'all would have been praising this petty shit, but people were woke now. People are a little bit more mature now. People will have grown up. We're not 12 years old. Like, we want to see the fights and shit, but we don't want to just see petty fights for no reason. Like, this isn't Bad Girls Club. Like, it has to make sense, right? And then also, too, another reason why we accepted a lot of the bullshit with Bad Girls Club is, aside from the fact that we were teenagers and we just wanted to see some mess, period, they were in controlled environments where they didn't have access to anything. And so them having these petty ass fights made sense because they were in controlled ass environments where they were not allowed their phones. They could not go to the club. They could not leave in the time that they wanted food and alcohol was limited. They had the producers in their ears. Like it was way different. And so you could see how somebody would just flip out and fight somebody over using a toothpaste. You can see with baddies, they got all the freedom in the motherfucking world. All the freedom in the motherfucking world. They come as they go. They come and go as they please. They eat whatever the fuck they want to eat. They move however the fuck they want to move. They they literally on their phone, on live streams, like, spilling and spoiling the whole goddamn show because Lamel keeps telling them, get on live stream to promote the show, to promote the show. We got to keep it talked about. So the whole time, from auditions to filming to the show coming out, we, we stuck in baddies mode because they are pumping it out, pumping it out, and doing all of these live streams and shit. So it, it's nothing about this show that's giving control. So when we get down to 
the racetrack and now we fighting somebody just because they sick. Yeah, bitch, you doing too much. Had this been Bad Girls Club and yeah, we bored in the house and we going crazy, we could understand a psychological breakdown. But bitch, when we get to the racetrack and mind you, Roly and E.T., and we're not even going to call them Roly and E.T., we're going to call them EBT and Swiss Roly because that's what they get. EBT looks broke. EBT is giving food stamp. Matter of fact, not even food stamps, because maybe if I had some food stamps right now, bitch, I would be boiling. Okay, I, I get tired of paying $50 a day just to eat for the day. Literally $50 a day. Inflation, baby. Inflation. Ugh, so I could use some food stamps. But EBT gives food stamp fraud. Okay, and Roly literally looks like a fat-ass Swiss roll. Literally. Okay, fat-ass Swiss roll. So we get down to the racetrack, and we got Swiss Roly, and we got EBT food stamp fraud. They down there picking at this girl. Now, mind you, they are because it's like, I don't know, sometimes when y'all be watching shows, I feel like we not watching the same shows or like maybe like y'all be scratching your ass or like arguing back and forth with your man or maybe it'd be like certain parts that y'all go and get up and go use the bathroom because I, I don't understand how we be watching the same shows and y'all just be letting shit fly over your head and y'all just be missing shit. Luckily, this is a situation where we don't have to do too much argument because we all on one accord that Swiss Roly and Food Sam Fraud did way too fucking much. But at the same time, I do want to be very clear about the timeline. T wasn't just standing there grilling him for no reason. T literally said on screen, I'm here. I'm sick. I showed up because I wanted to take one for the team and show that I was willing to to participate even though I don't feel well and I'm trying my best and I'm standing here but yet I hear these bitches talking about me as though I'm not a few feet away from them so you hear her talking on screen and if you're paying attention to the screen and you're not you know digging your hand in your ass or arguing on the phone with your man if you're paying attention to what's going on screen given what she's saying you literally see Swiss Roly and food stamp for all they are literally on screen talking shit about this girl. And they keep glancing over at her. It's not even the talking shit where maybe you heard something and you're like, wait, wait, huh? T what? T what? Huh? Child, maybe I thought I heard my name, but then T can be the end of a word at pretty much any sentence. Maybe they was talking about royal T. Okay, maybe maybe they was talking about like actual decaf T. You know what I mean? Like maybe they was talking about reliability like you know what i mean like it doesn't necessarily mean he was talking about t me as in how my name is t okay maybe they was talking about a different type of t okay and i just caught the end of the sentence no it wasn't one of those it was <laughs> while grilling the bitch down and while staring at her so let's be very clear about that Let's be very, very clear about that because even Natalie tried to come on and make it look like T just staring for no reason. No, bitch. I'm staring because as I'm sitting here trying to mind my business and I don't even want to fucking be here, you got Swiss Roly and Food Stamp for us sitting here. And I hear my name. And they keep staring at me. So, yes, you right. You right. You right. You right. It's cookout time, baby. It is cookout time. And y'all are all invited, okay? Because right now, I'm doing what? I'm grilling. I'm grilling that ass with these eyes. I'm grilling you. I'm grilling you. Because what you're not about to do is sit here and talk. and ch- 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 Like, I'm not, not saying it right here. So I wasn't mad at T. I wasn't mad. And I know some people going to be like, oh, but you sick. Why was you here? Da, da, da. She already said it wasn't COVID. She already said it wasn't COVID. And she said that she was taking one for the team. And please stop trying to act like y'all all all give a fuck about COVID now. Because that's what we're not going to do. That's also what we're not going to do. I hate when people try to give excuses knowing they don't give a fuck. Just say you don't like a bitch. Don't bring up, well, why would you try to be here? Because that's what Swiss Roly tried to do. I'm sorry, I almost disrespect her. Not Roly. That's what Swiss Roly tried to do. Talk about something. If you know you sick, why would you be here? Come on, COVID, COVID. Like, really, really? After COVID? Bitch, y'all filming a whole show, and I don't see not one mask in sight. And I'm not talking about the mask that Lumel Plummer may or may not have on his face just to blur his face, even though he always in the middle of the drama. I'm not talking about that. So, yeah, that's how the fight ends up starting. Swiss Roley and Food Stamp Fraud start picking at T. T goes to put her back down. Food Stamp Fraud decides to swing on her. 
Okay, next thing you know, Swiss Rolly and T get into it. Next thing you know, Scotty decides to jump her ass into it. And Scotty, you disappointed me because I was here for you. I was here for you. I feel like we was all here for her because the way that T was yelling at her on that bus, it was like, okay, T was doing too much. But then when we got down to this go track and the way that y'all all piled up on her, no, y'all did not jump her, but y'all piled up on her. Oh, absolutely the fuck not. Scotty, you a weak little bitch. Talking about something this season, I'm running my rounds with everybody. And if I got a problem, I'm addressing it with everybody. Okay, but this bitch was yelling in your face and you decided to do nothing. You had ample opportunity after DJ Scott to whoop this bitch's ass and you did nothing. And I'm somebody that that looks for receipts and looks for extra tea. And so I, I've been watching T's YouTube channel and she explained all of it right away. She was like, the reason why I did not fight Scotty outside was because I thought me and Scotty was doing this for TV. That's why I kept yelling and laughing and whatnot because Scotty was just telling me the scene before this bitch, I want to be your friend so bad, but the producer's making us go at it. So I'm thinking we doing this for TV. That's why I'm laughing. Like, oh, you really trying to fight? Meanwhile, everybody online talking about something. Oh, see the type of person that you know you you want to you just want to fight the bitch because she seemed like she gonna play in your last verb and that that that. And whether or not that's true, again, we're not gonna ignore the fact that Scotty was sitting here crying to this girl off camera, talking about some. Uh, they really making us go at it on camera. I'm sorry, like I like you, but I'm gonna have to do this to you on camera. And then now all of this, and then we get down to the racetrack, and then you want to jump in, girl. It's giving weak sauce, and the way that nobody said anything. I would have smacked every last bitch up in there. By that point, we're already on four, three bitches and not name person that's coming up to defend me. Oh, everybody getting smacked. And Natalie, you number one because you started the bullshit. You started the bullshit. Natalie instigated that whole situation. Ah, these, we got bitches in here with these faces. And she started that. She started that. And then for you to try to pull a bitch to the side later on, like, I was just like, look at Natalie working. Natalie is clocked in. Natalie is clocked in. I would just have to beat her ass for the one time. Like, I don't be mad at Natalie, but if I was in a situation and I clocked what she was doing, I, I would have to clock her. I would. I'm sorry. I would have to go overtime on her teeth. Like, you, what you're not going to do is sit here and do this to me. I see you do it to everybody else, but maybe you're not going to do it to me. Because if you do it to me, it's going to be done. It's going to be done. It's going to be done. So I don't know what else to say. What, what the fuck else happened after that? We got Suki that came in the house. Um, Suki apparently gonna have some problems with Swiss Rolly, and I like that. I like how Suki came in. Now, granted, I may not fuck with all of Suki's antics in real life, but I'm starting to fall in love with Suki. I am. She's gorgeous. That girl is really fucking beautiful. Like, really beautiful. And she's right. She really does have a pretty ass pussy. Like, her pussy is beautiful. Like, like she really has a pretty vagina. Like, <laughs> like Suki is pretty. I'm really starting to fall in love with that girl. Like, pretty. Um, nasty as hell, but pretty. And um, I like I love the way that she came in because I hate when people try to be like, uh uh, that's y'all beef. I'm not getting involved. Oh, what you got going on? How about that? Uh, doesn't have nothing to do with me. No, it has everything to do with you. Because this is about loyalty. I'm sorry if you if if I'm telling you that this bitch is doing this grimy shit to me, and you decide to be like, oh, that's between y'all, not not your, like, oh, that show me where your moral compass is. I just told you that this bitch just tried to just tried to R-A-P-E me. I just told you that this bitch just tried to run me over. I just told you that this bitch then went and slapped my mom like and you like, oh, that's between y'all. Oh, so I see where you stand. That means you okay with this type of shit. Oh, okay. So since your name is Bennett and you're not in it, okay. We don't we don't need to be cool. We don't need to be, I'm sorry. So I'm with Suki. Hey, I I I I, I do choose sides. I don't mind my business and I do choose sides because I'm not going to sit and stand by some shit that I know that's some fuck shit. If you're doing wrong, I'm going to call it out. I'm not standing by some fuck shit. I'm not. I'm not upholding you while you want some fuck shit. I'm not doing it. I'm with Suki. That really made me respect her. Look at her like, yeah, I fuck with Suki. I'd be besties for her. Like, that really made me look at her like, yeah, Suki, like, you instantly became my fave. Like, I I love that. So if that's the reason why Suki and Swiss Rowley end up getting into it in Jamaica, baby, I'm here for it. I am here for it. I am here for it. Now, whatever beef is cooking up between Mariah Lynn and her assistant, I don't know, but I can't wait to see Mariah Lynn and her fight inside of the ocean. That's going to be cute. That's something new. 
I can't wait to see that. Oh, and as far as T and the three rounds that she fought, plus his action when it's coming up next episode, nobody gives a damn. Nobody cares that she lost. That's how I know another way that we done involved. Because 10 years ago, we would have been like, oh, she got an ass. Be done, done. Don't nobody care about none of that because at the end of the day, it should have never happened. And the fact that T still stood her ground against all three of them, that's what 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 really made people be like, nah, T got it. We protected T at all costs because T stood down on business. T did her big one. She may have lost the fights, but it wasn't about that. Like she kept going and it's still going. And so she gets all the respect in the world. All the respect in the world. I'm sorry. Food stamp fraud came in way too strong. This is not now that's TV, bitch. Keep that ghetto ass, ratchet ass shit over there down in South Side, Jamaica, Queen. Like, keep that shit over there. Keep that shit over there. You came over here trying to prove yourself, trying to prove why you a baddie and why you need to be on this show. And then you went for the weakest link. Talking all of that shit about Taseki. Walked right past that bitch and went straight to T. Make it make sense. It don't. It don't. It don't. And I hope Taseki slaps the shit out of all of them on a reunion. I, I pray to God. I pray to God. Because now you got Roley going against everybody. You got Roley against Mariah Lynn. You got Roley against Taseki. You got Roley against T. You got Roley against Anna Mac. Like, everybody is coming for Roley at this reunion. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Like, how you get a BBL? How you get a BBL and you're still ugly? Like, how? How? Fat distribution? Where? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would not be that damn fat. And then I'm going to go get a BBL. Because you know with BBLs, you're supposed to take the fat out and transfer it somewhere else. Baby, if you're that damn fat, just tell them leave it out. Leave it, Just leave it out, baby. If you're taking the fat out, just leave it out. You don't need to transfer it nowhere. No, baby. I, I'm fat enough. I'm fat enough. Why are we redistributing the fat when I'm fat overall? Like, just leave it out, baby. Leave it out. Okay, you could have gave it to somebody else. All of that surgery, you still ugly. And that's the real reason why Swiss Rowley is so mad. That's the real reason why she is so mad. She don't like people that are naturally, like, she don't. And I hate, I hate, I hate. Because y'all know that, that'd be the pretty girl thing. Like, everybody love to say that. Oh, bitches just hating on me because I'm pretty. You know, and that's what they teach you, you know, when you're younger or whatever. Like, the parents, they were like, oh, everybody not going to like you. You know, there's going to be some people that, you know, try to talk shit about you. Or the world is just jealous of you because you pretty or whatever. And it's like, it's not even all of that. Nine times out of ten, it don't be all of that. But on the show, it really is that. Like, clearly, T is gorgeous. T is beautiful. And that's with or without makeup. And for those of y'all that's wondering, yes, she is black. She's 50% black. Like, her mother is, like, when you see her mother, you be like, oh, shit, she not adopted. Like, she literally looks exactly like her mother. Exactly like her mother. It's just that T is the vanilla version, and her mother is, like, the dark chocolate version. But literally, same face, same voice, act just alike, talk just alike, same squeaky voice. Like, T is black, y'all. But she's black. And child, that's a whole other conversation for the N-word, because y'all, listen, listen, listen. Um, so we get to the end of the episode, and bro, uh, Biggie comes in. And last season, I'm just calling her Piggy. Listen, I don't care that Biggie is now fighting Swiss Rowley. She don't get brownie points. Um, I mean, one, because she big, and neither one of them need any more, any more to eat. You know, mm. so if anything, you get a point, but not brownie points. Okay. But I still don't like Piggy. I still don't like Piggy. I still, I'm sorry. Just because you fight in Swiss Rolly don't mean that I'm going to like you now. But I am, I am going to give you your ones. Maybe not your big one because you are the big one. Okay. But I'm, 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 I'm going to give you your little one. Your little one and two. Your ones and twos. Because you did come in and do that. You came in and did that. You said Swiss Rolly. Line it up, baby. You already know what it is. Let's get it over with. Now, whether or not Swiss Rowley got beat up, whether or not Piggy got beat up, that does not matter. That doesn't matter. See how involved we are? Because it's no longer mattering who won. It's the fact that, okay, you you got what you needed to off your chest and you said your gram. I respect the fact that you come into the house and immediately spot out Swiss Rowley and say, oh, okay, let's fight. And I look like Swiss Rowley got the best of her, but I don't care. 
I don't care. I don't care because they need to tag team Swiss Roly Poly's ass every chance that they get. And I hope, I pray that by the reunion, everybody shows up and everybody that Roly kept saying she got a problem with, okay, aka Anna Mac, aka Taseki, aka Mariah Lem, aka Piggy, aka T. That's five people right there. I hope and I pray that on this reunion between them five people fighting Swiss Roly, I hope and I pray. That y'all get this bitch to the body image, this, the body goal that she been dying to get to. I pray that y'all knock the pounds off of her. I pray that y'all knock the rest of the fat off of her body so she can finally get to that ideal weight that she been dying to get to. I pray. Because I've had enough of Swiss Roly. And the one thing that's been annoying me is that everybody and their mama online talking about something. Oh, Swiss Roly is really feeling herself this season. And I say this season? What are y'all retarded? Must be because I'm sorry. I've been I've been reviewing this show since Batty South. She's been a problem since Batty South. We 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 gonna forget this infamous scene. Hold on, let me put something up on the screen. We we gonna forget all about this. Y'all don't remember this. I thought I was pussy because I'd be around this bitch laughing. It don't matter. Have y'all want to do it? We can line it up. Rolly. Bitch ass, take this opportunity talking about some what's up, what's up? Y'all not finna jump her and y'all not finna tag team nothing. Bitch, if you got a problem, what's up? Like, handle your issue with me because these hands can go either way. Because you was talking about her and now you dick riding her. Dick riding who? What I said about her. Now you was dick riding what I said about her. Do you want to fuck what I said about her? Bitch, I'm gonna smoke. Let's see. Jayla, let's go, bitch. Let's go. Jayla, little ball head. Strong face, goddamn squidward, handsome squidward looking ass. Gonna fucking come up and talk about some y'all better not jump her. First of all, you little squid, ain't nobody finna jump her. I waited till she was done with my bitch. Then I asked her that she want a problem since so she was bumping her fucking gums like she always do. But since you want a problem, I'ma handle it with you, ho. Ball head bitch to ball head bitch. It don't matter. Have y'all wanna do it? We can line it up. Rolly. And then after that. There was the Baddies West auditions. Does nobody remember this? Now, what My name is E.T., but they, they call me Scarface. E. What happened? Okay, so what's Why they call you what? Scarface? In the headlock, he went to bed with my legs. Give it, give it to her. Okay, Dr. Yeah. You were on the show. Wait, okay, Dr. Why is it still on the show with Krishan? So what happened? I felt like she kept wanting to sneak me. Boop, boop. You're not going to try to fight nothing. She said she's going to do that. When I seen her, I asked her. I did not ask for help. She did get jumped. I did feel bad, but I feel jumped at the same time. Next. We're loyal. Next. Boy, hey, hey, I'm I'm gonna gonna go 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 now, mind you, this is food stamp fraud. Because food stamp fraud had the audition. Not once, but twice. That's how we know the bitch thirsty. That's how we know the bitch thirsty. Because she had the audition not once, but twice. Not once, but twice. And the fans had to beg and beg and beg for her to get up for her to get up here on the show. And I feel like the fans was only really begging for her to get up on the show because y'all thought it was gonna be an interaction between Taseki and Food Stamp Fraud. But as we saw, Food Stamp Fraud came in and she was so pussy that we didn't get that altercation like y'all wanted to have. Because y'all y'all wasn't playing it or or plotting on Taseki getting jumped because of construct like I really feel like producers only cast her for a specific reason that has yet to be, be fulfilled. But we're not going to jump over the fact that Roly has been unlikable, first of all, since Batty South, hence why Jayla whooped that ass. Then we get the Batty's West auditions. Do y'all forget? Like, it, like, y'all must forget. Y'all clearly, quickly forget. And that's why I'm here to remind y'all bitches because Batty's West auditions, them girls were horrible to all the girls' audition, and they were horrible. Hence why. Hence why. And we'll, we'll get to it, but let's just finish watching it since we're here. Since we're here, because since. Food stain fraud want to come in, and I got to check on my bitch, Scotty. I got to go to the bathroom and check on my bitch, Scotty. Mind you, Scotty's the one who jumped in, but because Scotty got scratched up, I got to check on my bitch, Scotty. I got to check on my bitch. Ooh, Roly, I got to... I'm sitting here talking shit with Roly. <laughs> you want to do a little this, that, and a third for the same bitches who literally passed on your ass at auditions. For the same bitches who was playing in your face and they want to give you a ticket at auditions. We got over and bro, we, we, we gonna give you pass just because you know maybe you should mend something with her and talk to her. I'm not sure. Maybe if you do make it on Maddie's that y'all could mend that. Shot my bitch. I'm around her regardless. So you know, I thought she was gonna like me. 
I know we're shining, my legs, but thank you. Here you go, we're ready. And I hope, y'all, I hope your legs feel uh, heals up quick. It's not putting niggas in the ass. I'm pretty sure he was down there eating that thing for a long time. Now, what's my name? But they, they call me Tea. 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 Well, hey, my name's Scarface. I feel disrespected when last time. Why is it two on the show with Krishan? So what happened? happened? I feel like she can't want to sneak me. Boop, boop. You're not going to side fight nothing. She said she's going to do that. When I seen her, I asked her. I did not ask for help. She did get jumped. I did feel bad, but I felt jumped at the same time. Next. We're loyal. Next. And let me say something. I know I'm a superstar. I'm a reality TV star. I know my worth. I know I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> I stand my ground. Y'all know I got them thumpers. I was on, what? Y'all know, in the crutch and all. Wait, wait, so you said you were a reality star. What, sh I, I, I swear I'm not being disrespectful. What shows have you been on? I've been on South Central Baddies. I just did the- Next! You gotta go. Wait, wait, hold on, hold no, on. Wait, no, that, no, gotta that. go. The same bitch. <laughs> like you can't, you can't make it up. Like food stamp fraud. You look dumb. These bitches laughed in your face, and then you came up on here as production's pet and did all that you did after they laughed in your face. Oh, she the one that tried to bank you. She gotta go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she gotta go. Wait, wait, hold on. No. I'm I'm asking a real question because. I don't. I, I promise you, I don't watch TV. I don't. Uh, yeah. Here you go, I've never watched that before. Okay. Show before. <laughs> but Krishan just went, said something. I'm gonna be real. She, she said, was on there. So what's up? You got a problem with my sis? You no, got a problem? With it? You got issues with Krishan? Any beef? No. What beef do you? Have? What beef did y'all have? Uh, <laughs> she just jumped in a fight that wasn't stuff. her fight. That's it. She's a she. And you know, I had. To have a conversation with her, yeah, and, when, and when I see that baddie sweat, when I see that baddie sweat, we had a conversation with my sister. Bring you going to this Okay, I said dismiss. I said fuck her. Okay, so I said, Miss Alex, you're not supposed to be No, I didn't know. What's your time? And I apologize. No, shut up. Okay. I said, you're not going to come off and try to be weird with my sis. I wasn't. Okay, listen, y'all get the point by now. Y'all, y'all get the point by now. But bringing it back to Swiss Rollie's fat ass. Y'all saying, oh, Swiss Rollie is filling herself this season. Like I already proved. She was filling herself in Batty South. That's why Jayla tapped that ass. She was filling herself at the Batty's West auditions. To the point where, y'all don't remember this right here? Y'all don't remember this right here? Y'all don't remember this episode right here? Y'all don't remember this episode right here? So I got back to the bus. I'm hot. And y'all motherfuckers ain't on shit for real. Like that was the highlight of y'all motherfucking here. <laughs> like y'all don't remember this right here? Swiss Rowley was a fucking demon to them girls. She was a demon to all of them girls at the Baddies West auditions. Hence why the episode before the Baddies West finale, this happened. Them girls are the reason why the girls from the auditions came to the bay and wanted to fuck the baddies cast up. Y'all don't remember the shootout episode? Crazy. You get what I'm saying? Imagine if somebody lost their life out there. <laughs> First, we gonna end this mother. Crazy. You get what I'm saying? Imagine if somebody lost their life out there. Mind you, this is also the same episode where Roly was, <laughs> where, where Swiss Roly came out crying. Oh, it's a shootout going on, and Swiss Roly having a whole full ass panic attack, anxiety attack, crying. <laughs> I'm still kind of choking from the tear gas, the motherfucking maze. 
Then I hear a gunshot. I said, oh my God. And it's like right before I get on the bus, I hear a gunshot. I'm like, they shooting at the fucking bus. I know it, please. But I'm the first one on the bus, so they're not even gonna pull off. Two seconds after I get out the front door, shots go off. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, holy shit, bitch. It's going down. I had to push my way onto the bus. The shit just was insane. I don't know where the fuck Stunner is. I'm looking for Stunner. I can't find Stunner nowhere. I don't even know what. Girl, shut up with her fake ass. But y'all remember that? Y'all remember when Roly had a whole panic ass attack? Okay. Do. Only I was for them to on turn around. To catch my Only for them to turn the fuck around and do the same shit at Daddy's East auditions. I'm Jenny De Niro from Lawrence, Massachusetts. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a social media influencer. And I'm about my money and I'm about my bag. Period. Okay. What makes you a baddie, though? Talk to me. What makes you she, she can't the walk in heels. Here. She can't chill with us. Let me see you walk in the heels. Go from there to there. Wait, no, I can't see the heels. the heels, bitch. Walk the heels. Ignore that. Come here. Walk the heels. Matter of fact, I don't give a fuck, bro. Every time I say something, y'all got something to say. I said what I said. She went like a call and walk with them fucking heels. I don't give a fuck. Now, also, keep in mind how you notice that Biggie is going off. I don't know whatever fucking storyline they're trying to carry on from the reunion on the show. Because they're trying to make it seem like Biggie and Roly was mad at each other because of what happened in the reunion. No, 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 no. And this is why I'm here, and I'm going to always bring the receipts. Because just like I'm showing y'all, Swiss Roly been a problem. They were still talking to these girls like trash. And they been, like, this isn't the best example, but y'all remember the Baddies East auditions. They were still talking to them girls like trash. Like, they didn't just get their asses handed to them during that shootout episode as a retaliation for how they treated them girls during Baddies West auditions. They clearly had learned nothing, came back for Baddies East auditions. It was still talking to them girls like trash. So when y'all sit around and say, oh, Swiss Rowley is getting too getting too big-headed. Oh, she acting like the fame is getting to her head. Bitch, has been getting to her head. It's been getting to her head, her neck, her chest, her legs, her arms, her fat-ass feet that's pointing in different directions. It, it's been getting to her whole body. It's been getting to her. And then aside from that, fuck whatever storyline that they're trying to act like is going on on Zeus, on 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 Baddies East, it's deeper than that. Because it started at the Baddies East auditions. It started at the Baddies East auditions. Let me see if I can go ahead and bring it up. It started at the Baddies East auditions. Here, here we go, right here. It's not your time. Oh, yeah. staring at me. That here. Dale, mommy, mommy. Oh, yeah. staring at me, but I don't know what I'm saying. Dale, here. Mommy, mommy, like, run. Here. It's not your time. It's not your time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I went through that. So I that's why I gave you my bad. That's why I gave you. Let me tell you but, but something. Go ahead. They gonna finish talking, but you're not. Shut the fuck down. Oh, God. Go no. These you people gotta sit the fuck down. Again, so when y'all sit and say that this fame is going to Rolly said it been went to her head. It been went to her head. Especially at the East auditions. Are you still talking to people crazy? And then you turn around and talk to somebody that's supposed to be your co-worker crazy? And then you looking at security saying, get her up out of here? And you putting on a show for the girls? 
that's audition like <sighs> child. And so that's how we end up, up getting to this point. Right yeah. She was just so like she was staring. Like we just looking and then she go. <laughs> uh, I look back because I was like, yeah, somebody did one of her enemies walk in. What the fuck is going on? And then she'll be looking disappointed. That's crazy. Oh, you just oh, walking in yeah. like that. Hi, Queens. How are you? Bitch, you scared me. Like I, you can't get rid of me, bitch. What's up? It's Big Biggie, not the little one, and I'm back on your TV screen. What the what hell? The How are you, Queens? Biggie. Every time I tell the issue with Biggie, she denies it all the time. For her to sit there and go on the reunion, the Batty West reunion. I don't want to hear nothing about the fucking reunion when I clearly just showed the clip of them at the Baddies East auditions. Don't bring up the reunion that happened a month before the Baddies East auditions. We always beef it at the Baddies East auditions. We're not going to sit and do that. I don't know what producers untold them or what lie really trying to run with. I don't know what it is, but you were sunning that bitch at the Baddies East auditions. At, and the Baddies East auditions happened a month after the West reunion. ...and lie on me time I try to throw her off because I told her to stop fucking bullying Stunner Girl to stop bothering her and she felt like I was fake for doing that shit like... Stop using Stunner Girl as an excuse. Stunner Girl is not on the show. Stop using Stunner Girl as an excuse. No, you tried to bully that girl. You tried to stun her at the auditions. Weird as fuck. You pretended to be cool with me and then... Every time the camera came on, you would do certain shit. And that's why I look so shocked, bro. No! Biggie, when people lie! Do not and that's all this fat bitch does is just go off. She just starts yelling as if that's supposed to... Is that supposed to make me scared, Chucky? Is that supposed to make me scared? Baby, I'm more scared just looking at you without a wig than I am of you sitting here yelling in my face. Lie! Roll it. Just the fuck you did! Bitch. Yeah, yeah, right up on you! But it wasn't even like that. You a fucking liar, bro. Time, you a liar. Forget it, Poppin', baby. Wait, what? You're oh, staring yeah. at me. Bro. Listen, so it just is what it is. I think I proved my point by now. This is way longer than I wanted it to be. But I just had to catch y'all up with some of the receipts because I was just saying some of the shit on social media and it was pissing me off. It was pissing me off. Okay, and then in terms of in terms of next episode, let me see if I can find a preview. Um, in terms of next episode when they come in, okay, yeah, I found it. I found it. In terms of next episode when they come in, when T comes in and then they fight again, I felt like. Hey, period. No, she. I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. This girl came in looking pretty as fuck. Oh, she's gonna come up with me. No, she's, she's not. This, this, oh, this what's this? this? Can't no bitch run me out this house. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, we got some tea right here. E.T. explaining what happened. Let's look at it. And then you. Y'all don't know what bullying is, cause baby. And then you have an attitude. Y'all y'all don't know what bullying is, cause baby. Bully is taunting someone day in and day out. And is that not what you did? With them. That's bullying. Like if I was taunting her, I could understand. Like me walk by her and flinch at her, or like do little weird shit. Like that's bullying. I didn't bully that bitch. Y'all y'all don't know what bullying is, cause baby. Chow. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay. And before we wrap this up, I got one last thing that I'm sure y'all. You, you had this is Winter's podcast that I'm surprised is still going on. Got into Winter's ass about her best friend. Listen, if you know, you know. But this is Winter giving her opinion on the whole T and ET situation. See, why the fuck would you? You had this bitch on the bus. You had her in your face in front of the house. And then the only time you're going to fight this bitch is when the next bitch bomb on her for no reason. But then you're going to run up and try to and do your big sick one. And sick, too. That, oh that's God, a really... Girl, I know, but, but yeah. I don't even want to fight. Like, like, yeah. And you fight like you fight in a dream. <laughs> Y'all dreams be sick. Oh, 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 yeah, it's like you're trying to do all that. Ever. I'm crying. Bitch, I'm about to and fight. Bless you dirty like fuck. I'm like, y'all trying to pull my bundles out? Pull 
pretty oh, hell, bitch. Now yeah, 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 yeah. And I was just like, oh, she still looks so pretty. Right. Just like, I'm like, like, why are you doing that? I'm, I'm glad. Bitch. You know what? I'm glad. You know what they, you, oh, man, this, this is good. This is good because it's good. <laughs> it's good for people. This is good. No, this is good. Always try, it's good. It's great. Because no, because everybody always tries to make it like our oh, pretty girl advantages. How about the disadvantage? And just so y'all can see, just so y'all can see, like I said, T is definitely black. Just so y'all can see, T is definitely black. Recordings just got better. Okay. If you don't, you can get left behind. Look at them. They look just alike. <laughs> hey, look. You, in this type of industry, you better have some guts like that to say, hey, look. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, you're going to get passed right by. And that's why people don't make it. Okay. You're like, uh-uh, hey, look. It's me, T. They look just alike Otis, and sound just alike. You don't? Okay. Go join um, T's YouTube channel because she's been talking a lot about like what's been going on and shit like that. She's been talking a lot about what's been going on. You don't get it. You don't understand life. You think everything is going to be handled with fighting and liquor and fucking. It's very loser activity. And I'm sorry that I don't get down and I can't relate. That is one thing I, I can sincerely apologize about. That I just, I'm not, uh, it's not a vibe for that. It's not a vibe for that. Not over here. I don't have a problem with reality TV. I have a problem with accommodations and professionalism. And that's something that everything and everybody lack here today. And not even just that, but everybody just lack class. Everybody lack class. Everybody lack uh, gangster. Like, you ain't even gangster. They thought that shit was so gangster. That shit can't go there. She need to get her teeth fixed for that. All them bitches need to get Thank God I really got her teeth fixed. But the other two need to follow suit. If they're not going to go to my desk, they should be going to hers. Because whatever, like, they got going on here, if, like, ginger bias, the crew of ginger bias is thinking that it's gangster to fight a bitch. That's it. Y'all are rap and y'all are weird. I look pitiful, pathetic, and lame. And I'm glad everybody can see that now. Because now you can see what the real deal is. You see, there's T, and then there's Tamara. And it ain't no voice change. It ain't no. I got different tones. I got different vibes. And if I'm drinking, I'm gonna be. Woo -woo, and if people are bothering me, I'll be like. Woo -woo. And if I'm sick and I'm chilling, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck's going on? I don't give a fuck. I can be two things at one time, and two things can be true at the same time. Once you wake up and you really start to realize that shit, everything else will make sense later. If it don't make sense to you now, keep studying me, bitch. Other than that, go back to school, find a therapist, talk to your mother, talk to your father, rebuild your family relationship. I don't know, do what you gotta do. But what the fuck I got going on over here, if it don't make sense, get your fake ass on. Okay? It's not gonna make sense. If you don't like what the fuck I'm gonna talk about, if you don't like what the fuck I'm saying, bitch, suck my dick. Ugh. Gag on it like the rest of them three bitches do at the Zeus Network. Suck dick. Ugh. 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 Suck dick. That's all they do. That's all they do. They sucking my dick right now. Suck my dick, bitch. See me at the reunion when it's not no motherfucking sick tea. See me at the reunion when I ain't got no motherfucking Nyquil or Dayquil in my body when I ain't on no Benadryl, bitch. See me, see me then. Do what the fuck you gotta do, bitch, and find out what the fuck I got time for, bitch. Find out what the fuck I got time for, bitch. It ain't just the fans, bitch. I got a lot of people that love me. I got a lot of people that give a fuck about me. And you should tread lightly. You should be careful, bitch. Because I seen somebody crying at a shoe. Last time I checked, I seen somebody crying at a shootout last night. Bitch, and find out what the fuck I got timing for, bitch. Find out what the fuck I got timing for, bitch. It ain't just the fans, bitch. I got a lot of people that love me. And I got a lot of people that give a fuck about me. And you should tread lightly and you should be careful, bitch. Because I seen somebody crying at a shootout last time I checked. I seen somebody crying at a shootout last time I checked. I seen somebody having a panic attack like at the shootout last time I checked. You see me outside. <laughs> <laughs> Hang it up, flat screen. Hang it, <clears throat> hang it up, flat screen. Loser, loser. But anyway, shout out to the. So I mean, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I gave you my thoughts and opinions on the situation, and I think we all collectively agree where we stand. I mean, listen, whether you was a big fan or not, let's see. We gotta admit, she stood down on business. Swiss Rolly needs to get jumped. Food stamp fraud is on the wrong fucking show. Okay. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't wait to see Suki Hana beat the shit out of Swiss Rowley. I can't wait for the reunion because it seemed like everybody and their mama gonna get into it. And I don't want to hear Zeus again. Y'all make $18 million monthly. I don't want to hear nobody talking about something. I'm not showing up to the reunion because we already got DJ Sky, bitch ass, talking about how she not showing up to the reunion. Oh, shit. Let me go ahead and since we pulling out receipts, let me just go ahead and pull that up. Since we pulling out the motherfucking receipts, let me just go ahead and pull that one up. Because DJ Scott said she's not going to the reunion. Settling for less. Okay. I got
And at this point, I'm like, okay, well, DJ Scott, if you're not coming to the reunion, you might as well make sure that the other Scott don't come as well either. Because neither one of y'all are adding any fucking thing. Neither one of y'all are adding anything. Said I'm, she's getting ten thousand dollars a show, and like I'm a broke bitch. Like, why do that when? And then, and then let's let's not forget the fact that there was a whole thing about me not being from Baltimore. Mind you, when I go home to my city, I don't even want to charge that much for a show. I don't even want to charge that. Like, I want to show love. Like. Also, I feel like there's a house A versus house B situation going on. So, like, all of them over there are friends. And then the other house is friends. And I was in a suite the whole time. This is a light day. I don't have any makeup on. I just came from prayer. Y'all can tell me I look like Thomas, whoever. I'm still that girl. I have a booking I got to get prepared for right now. Let me put my DJ equipment in the car. But y'all talking about I'm like, like what? Like be for real. I got way bigger stuff to worry about. And mind you, when I made the post saying I'm the most book baddie, I wasn't throwing shots. All I was saying was, is as much as my light was trying to get dimmed, my light is still going to shine. Y'all don't get that? Yeah, like Hot Wheels. Three bookings in a day. I witnessed it myself. I can't make this up. I'm not trying to, like, say anybody's not getting booked. All I'm saying is that as much as my light tries to get dim, I still am getting booked. And mind you, I left. Thank you. Exactly. Corey. I left Baltimore 10 years ago. I've been left home. I've been tried to expand my horizons i've been paying la rent for seven years five thousand and up every month myself as a single mother and my daughter and my mother live in my house and i'm a real one shout out to everybody who was on kai stream like y'all got to see like a little bit of me like on some like cool shit like So all I'm saying is, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go to a premeditated fight with Tzatziki, who be literally fighting. Like she knows how to fight. I never said I was a fucking fighter. I said I'm a DJ. So y'all want me to just get my pretty ass face fucked up for, for some money or for fun? Fuck no. yes. Absolutely not. Nope. Y'all can call me scary. Y'all can say whatever y'all want. Nope. Me and her sister have been doing way better things than worrying about this type of shit. And like, if you if you if you see like, this is me giving it too much energy. Y'all think y'all say I post and delete, right? I post it and then I be like, damn, this is giving too much clout. It's not, you ain't got to fight. They're going to run up. That's how it works over there. If you know you're about to fight, get it in. It's not in my contract to be at the reunion because I'm not a cast member. <laughs> Corey said she coming. Listen, I don't even care about turning down the money. Like, I don't care about the money. I just want to pray for everyone's peace. And I just don't want anyone, like, coming at me. And then, like, thinking they're so much better than me. I don't care. You are better at me than fighting, Tzatziki. I'll just be trying to 
protect my face. I don't be trying to send bitches to the hospital. And mind you, like mentally, I'm all the way there. Oh. Okay. Uh, All right. Next topic. Listen. So as y'all can see, everybody in a mama having a lot to say. Everybody in a mama having a lot to say, and it's seeming like this going this going to be a reunion for the books. And again, again, eighteen. Wait, hold on, Hallie. Hold on. Why is Hallie trending? Don't tell me we got a video to do after this. Why is Hallie trending? Trending. Halle Billy got a Grammy nom solo without it being on a little murmur. Ain't no radio, no charge, just talent. Oh, okay. She deserved that. She ate that. She ate that. She's a Grammy nominee. She ate that. She ate that. She deserves. Okay. But um, let me make sure it ain't nothing else that we need to be disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, because it's disgusting. Look at Krishan get her tooth back in. Girl, is it going to be in or is it out? Remember when you was a little kid and you wanted to be outside, but you keep coming in for juice and for water and for air, and then your mother like, bitch, are you inside or outside? Because you 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 running up my air bill. Like, is it in or out? Bitch, that's how I feel about Krishan's teeth. Girl, is it in or is it out? Because one minute you got the tooth, next minute you don't. And then got the nerd that had to pacify it. Like, girl, oh my God. Okay. Anything else? Um, Zeus gonna always maneuver and play out for whoever is in their favor. Why do you think so many people still on or better yet even getting the time they get in? Okay. Anything else going on? You got Camilla that spoke on Vicky turns into a whole different person, but she is truly so much fun to be around. I wonder what that means. I wonder what that means. You got Anna and Roly going back and forth. Every day these birds tweet about me. I live in a head, water, and gas included. Oh, my God. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay. Okay. Krishan celebrating her first Billboard entry. Billboard entry? Billboard entry? Billboard 100. A show I did send the song for permission about four weeks early on, just because I don't want to get attached. I don't ever want to get attached to a record that I can't drop. You know what I mean? So I did my my the right thing that I was supposed to do, and um, from the the comments and the conversations that I had had after. Um, I thought I was good to go. And then the day of the drop, um, I got a phone call um, with a lot of people on the phone saying basically that basically what I got from the phone call was that there had been other plans and they weren't comfortable with me dropping and using that that um, that trademark anymore, that that those words anymore in my song that they didn't want me to drop the song anymore. Um, for like legal purposes and basically that I wasn't a big enough artist to drop that song. Considering the song comes from the show, I did send the song for permission about four weeks early on just because I don't want to get attached. I don't ever want to get attached to a record that I can't drop. You know what I mean? So I did my my the right thing that I was supposed to do. And um, from the, the comments and the conversations that I had, had after, um, I thought I was good to go. And then the day of the drop, um, I got a phone call um, with a lot of people on the phone saying basically that basically what I got from the phone call was that there had been other plans and they weren't comfortable with me dropping and using that that um, that trademark anymore, that that those words anymore in my song that they didn't want me to drop the song anymore. Um, for like legal purposes and basically that I wasn't a big enough artist to drop that song. Zeus is whack as fuck for that and it's not even Zeus. Lamel Plummer's faggot ass is whack as fuck for that. I'm sorry. He's whack as fuck for that. He's whack as fuck for that. 
whack as fuck for that. Considering the song whack comes from the show, that. I did just let send it have been for Sean. permission. Let it have been about four weeks early on, just because I don't want to get it attached. But you know what? That's what we're gonna go ahead and end this video. This video has been about an hour. This was supposed to be just a recap video, but clearly we didn't got into the tea and the teas of the thing. Okay. And yeah, I can't wait to see the reunion. It seemed like everybody and mama gonna be down there. Like I keep saying, Zeus, y'all make $18 million monthly. I don't want to hear about nobody not showing up to the reunion. Bitch, write it in their fucking contracts. Every single person on this cast needs to be at the reunion. Everybody. Everybody, including Krishan's dumbass. Everybody needs to be there because I want to see a fucking brawl. I want to see Tasuki get her lick back on Krishan. I want to see Roly stand ten toes down against five bitches. I want to see Tasuki and T get their vengeance and get their justice. I do. Everybody needs to be at this fucking reunion. Let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment box below. As if I give a fuck, definitely make sure you stream my music. As if you give a fuck, and as you can see on screen, there is my website, thealignedsouls.com. You can go book you a full, personal, 30-minute reading. Or if you just got a quickie question that you want to answer, okay, just a little quick Q&A, you can follow the instructions that are on screen as well to get that done, okay? And, um, yeah, also join the Patreon, patreon.com slash scottsantana, because we're trying to get that built up off the ground. I love each and every one of y'all. I'll see you in the next one. I'm trying to fuck now, so baby, let's dance. Fuck up my baby right here on my legs, yeah. I'm trying to take it to my place.